Now, you know, we've done a lot of mobile apps, but the two I want to talk about are really for our field users. One's a clientele app, which helps the store associate engage customers and drive revenue. And the next one's a product app to help, you know, we have a big workforce there and we want to impart <coughs> product knowledge, and especially with one that turns over fast. Now, these are use, use cases are retail oriented, but any of you who have a business with customers and selling a product could actually leverage these type of apps. So the first one is our clientele app. So in this, we can actually see exactly what a customer bought in brick and mortar and in, <clears throat> in e-commerce. And so this gives a 360 degree view of the customer. And using this app, actually store employees can communicate with customers, tell them about if their loyalty points are gonna expire, if new products arrive, or if we have a sale, et cetera. Now this is rolled out in North America, we're rolling it out in Asia and in the, <clears throat> in the US. So looking at how we leverage this. Well, we actually take the data and we look at what the customer buys by category, and we look at the purchasing behavior, and we recommend items for that customer using some analytics. So when a customer comes in, the associate knows how to target this customer and get a higher conversion rate. We have also have an outfitter <coughs> application here, a component. And what we've done is we've looked at what the customer has purchased, and we look at what other customers have purchased with those items, and we make recommendations. Now the big difference here is this is really for omnichannel because we're not looking at just the items that are sold in that store. We're looking for the items that we sell across the chain. And if, whether it's available in e-commerce, and we have pretty good functionality. We can ship from store, we can order in store, et cetera. And so this is used to actually sell items across the chain, not just what's in the store, and really convert that customer to an omnichannel customer. Next, we have messaging. I mean, think about most marketing. Most marketing is one to many. So, and you might do a little segmentation to give customers you know, a message, but it's not, you know, think about one to one. If I could actually establish a relationship as an associate with a customer, and if I can communicate them directly, that's many to many, which is extremely powerful. Now, of course, I wouldn't want to let people go off and do this willy nilly because we want to make sure that we can maintain the, you know, consistency and you know, be true to the brand. So through this app, we can actually have cust uh, an associate email customers. And this is what it looks like. We can say, hey, you know, I know you came in looking for this item, et cetera. This is what we recommend. But think about email. Email now is you know, your email box is cluttered. People don't really open it all the time. And you click through rates, and open rates are declining. So we have a consumer mobile app. And with this, we can actually communicate directly to the customer to the mobile app and message them. Now this is kind of cool because I don't know about you, but when I get a message on my phone through a mobile app, I always look at those almost 100%. So this has actually worked for us quite well. And see, this is what it would look like. And then, okay, so that's, that's clienteling. Now there's the product app. I mean, think about a retail environment. We have 10,000 employees and they turn over quite often. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that they have the product knowledge. So when a customer comes in, they can effectively sell and drive revenue. So using that, we've developed a couple apps. One's a new arrival app. And this shows the stores exactly what products are going to arrive in the store. And not just for them, but across the chain. So if they see a product that their store is not getting that they think is appropriate for their market, they could actually message corporate and say, look, go ahead, and, you know, I, I want that product. Or they can, you know, when customers come in, they actually have a good understanding of everything that's offered. Next is best sellers. So we actually provide what the best sellers are in their store and also the best seller across the chain. So, and this is done in units and dollars. So they can look at what's driving maybe velocity in units, but then they can look at also what are the high dollar transactions because that's really what's driving margin. And here they can see if there's a best seller in the chain but not in their store, then they can see, hey, maybe it's in the stock room or maybe it's not put, you know, displayed appropriately. And they can use this to help drive <clears throat> the visual merchandising, and actually see the effect of visual merchandising. Because I'm sure when you go in and you see product displayed nicely, that helps drive consumer behavior. Next is hourly replant. So for stores that have high volume, the last thing you want to do is, as sales occur and sizes get broken, a customer comes in, you're going to lose sales. 
And so this actually shows exactly what's been what's sold and <coughs> directs the associate to actually get those items out of the stock room. Now, if they see that they're actually sold out and they have nothing in the stock room, they can message corporate so they can get replanned immediately. So obviously, if you don't have good inventory management, you're not going to drive sales. So th this is an example of the two apps we've done. We've done, I mean, dozens of, of mobile apps, but in the field, this has really, really worked well. And you know, MicroStrategy has been a great partner. And the thing that I like about it is when we deployed mobile, it wasn't as if we had to go out and buy another product. So we could leverage our whole investment in MicroStrategy and you know, everything in the infrastructure. And the incremental effort to do these mobile apps is really minimal. And it's driven such an amazing, amazing uh, you know, <clears throat> success for us. So I'd like to thank MicroStrategy and thank you all for listening. Take care.